Danny has a feel for the spring game to actually be here just in a couple days. Yeah, we're so excited, man. There's been so much competition throughout this entire spring process. I'm really excited to be in front of the fans and really show all this hard work that we've done. You've been through this before, obviously, a couple spring games. For you, just heading into this one, what's what's your focus? What's your priority? I mean, just continue to get better every single day. You know, obviously now it's kind of trying to be more of a leader for the younger guys. You know, being before, you know, my first spring, really trying to step up into that role, just trying to get played. And now that I've established myself, really want to help those other guys, you know, get better every single day. How are things going for the defense this spring, do you think, going into this game? I'm actually very impressed with how the defense has uh, done. You know, we've actually really, you know, kind of really found ourselves. You know, watching us go out there, watching the young guys get up there and just, the standard doesn't fall off when those guys are in there. And it's great to see those younger guys really step up and just perform. You guys, uh, based on who's coming back and what you did last year, you guys are actually poised to be the strength of the team, which has not been an occurrence at OU all that often. Really? That's really, that's true. <laughs> so how, how much of a challenge do you take that to, to make that come to fruition? Nothing against the offense, but it's time for the defense to sort of really assert itself. Absolutely. I mean, we have to play complimentary football at all times. You know, the defense always, especially, you know, the guys in that room with Billy, you know, me, Ethan, and everyone else, you know, that's what we want. We don't want to be the butt of the conversation. We want to be the why. And uh, I think we try every single day to just be, you know, the reason. You know, that's what we want to do. And that's what we want to step up and you know, be a part of that. What is what is it about uh, about the defense in particular that made I know a lot of things went into you coming back, but the the guys that were coming back, how much did that have to do with it? I mean, it's a brotherhood. You know, there's a lot of experience on that defense side of the ball. You know, you look at it. You know, that's what, who, I want to finish out the right way. You know, I want to continue my legacy, just getting better and better, and really leave uh, Oklahoma on the right note. Danny, most of these linebackers you know, played a little bit last year. I mean, some, some of you guys have been around a little bit. How good is this room getting? It's very, it's super competitive you know, for, for me to everyone else, man. It's been great. You know, have a young guy like Nesta, so everyone's been able to help him out, man. Every single person knows a lot about football, and we're really trying to get them uh, caught up. So that means you guys know more about the defense now. Than oh, you know. absolutely, man. I mean, Coach Venables isn't on us just as much, and now we got Coach Alley. But, you know, it's a lot more cohesion now because they're not really trying to explain so much. You know, we kind of just correct them, you know, tweak everything out. You mentioned Coach Alley. Just the spring game obviously is an exhibition, but how important is this maybe as an opportunity to get comfortable with him in a game like this? So? I mean, we've, we've kind of tried to simu uh, stimulate games every single time, you know, simulate what it's like to be out there. So I think he's already pretty comfortable. We are already known. We go against that tempo every single day, so I think we're very used to it of how Coach Ali calls, you know, he's been doing it for a while. So I think uh, it's just been another, kind of another practice for us. Has anything stood out just in that process of getting comfortable with him and, and those type of settings? Yeah, I mean, he keeps his composure. He makes a lot of great calls. You know, a lot of times we find ourselves in the, in the perfect place call for what the offense is running. And as a defensive player, I'm not going to complain about that. Hey, what's it been like going against Jackson in offense this spring? How do you feel like you guys are going to push each other? Oh, absolutely, man. It's a very high-powered offense. You know, obviously the tempo is no surprise. And Jackson's a very, you know, he's a unique, play a unique player, man. The way he has that arm strength, you know, the way he can just continue to, you know, use his legs to make plays on the field. And there's so many explosive weapons on that offense. You know, bring a guy like Bauer Sharp and Deion Burks to come in there and just make plays. And all the running backs that we have, you know, it's deep all over the place. I'm really impressed with the way they've performed and just excited to, you know, kind of have another attempt to just go at them. What's your thoughts on your, you know, you lost some guys in the defensive line, the graduation and things like that. How is that unit coming along? It's been challenging, you know, but we brought in the right guys, man. You know, having you know, Jane Jackson, David Stone, Marcus Strong, and Ashton Sanders, I can go on and on, uh, Grayson Holland. Those young guys are really stepping up, man. They're really getting it down. And it's great to see an improvement from when those guys stepped on campus to where they are today. And there's been no fall off. The only thing, it's only gotten better. What have you seen from someone like Gasson, who I know has been playing everywhere, but gotten some inside looks too? What has that been like? I mean, absolutely, man. We've been trying to get him on the field as much as possible because when he's on there, he makes plays, man. He's a freak athlete, so when he's on that field, you know, good things happen. So we're trying to find every single position that we can put him in to you know, kind of make, make things happen. How much is that versatile, versatility, just the defense as a whole? How much has that been a priority this spring? I mean, it's huge. I mean, you look back at Clemson when they had a guy like Isaiah Simmons, and Desan reminds me a lot like him, dude. Just a guy that can make a play all over the field. You, know, you can put a hand in the dirt, you can drop in coverage, play the half field, and that's something that's very rare for a player like that. Danny, I know back in February you were one of the players that kind of announced that you're going to be, you know, in the EA Sports video game when it comes out this summer. What, what? What are you looking forward to about that? And just what's it going to be like to be able to play as yourself? And yeah, I mean, it would be pretty cool. I mean, I kind of grew up playing uh, EA Sports with my dad, so it would be kind of cool, full circle experience. You know, he said he was going to have to get like an Xbox or something now, a little outdated system that he's on. But uh, it's, it's great, man. It's a, it's a full opportunity, man. Obviously, there's no hesitation to opt into that game. It's been, you know, it's, it's awesome. You're going to be able to beat your dad on it? Oh, absolutely, man. No competition when it comes to that. As long as it's, as long as it's not golf, he's not beating me in. So, um, yeah, but very excited. You know, obviously, we're going to be right in the kind of getting into the seasons. I probably won't be able to play that much, but I'll play with the new guys when I'm, when I'm done with football, I guess.
Any reason for the number swaps today? Yeah, um, yeah I'm wearing 51 today. So it's kind of the last spring, so I kind of had the, uh, the idea and all the LBs kind of just swap numbers. So hopefully Coach Alley has a headache grade and who's on tape. <laughs> We got James Nesta wearing the 28, so uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. You hope he played well, huh? Oh, I hope so. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Thanks man. Appreciate it.